Today in Studio 4, the house smart guy, Shao Buzzy, buzzes in with his list of spring and summer chores. Time to purge, recycle, clean the garage, the patio, and check out the spurting sprinkler. And there is a new company in town called Art Town. It was once called the Resort TV Network. It has now expanded to the city. The CEO of Art Town, Don McQuaid, will tell us about his new broadcast technology venture that's gone urban. And to begin the hour, George Clooney and Stacy, Brad Pitt and Angelina, the Beebs, Demi, Gaga, and Tom are on her celebrity hit list. The queen of TV and online celebrity gossip, Lainey Louie, returns from the Cannes Film Festival to give us the highlights and salacious bits of who did what in France. Stay tuned. Lainey Louie is a savvy celebrity blogger who has over one million gossip hounds who follow her for every Miley Cyrus, Demi Moore, or John Travolta story. She is the type who reads Tolstoy, and she also reads Hello! magazine. Lainey is just back from the Cannes Film Festival where she schmoozed with the movie stars, and it is my pleasure to welcome Lainey Louie back to Studio 4 to tell us more just off the plane from France and on the little jet to Victoria. I, yes, yeah, so I was home Thursday or Friday, I can't remember anymore, and then straight to Victoria for the David Foster Gala, his 25th anniversary for his foundation, and then back here, and then I would never miss your Swan Week. I know. <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you. My Swan Week, that means I'm going away, but I'm coming back briefly. Yes, yes. Mm, Studio for it, a goner. Well, Studio Four is Swan Week then, mm -hmm. but I Let's would never call miss it this. That. Thank you well, for having me back. Well, twelve years on television, you know, yes. is a long time. You're a veteran, you know. You, Pretty I much. look up to you. I hope that in twelve years I can be saying the same thing. Okay, well, maybe we'll do a show together one day. We, we Whoever should. Whoever knows, we should, we should talk. talk. Okay, <laughs> uh, the carpet in Victoria, I heard on the TV, mm -hmm. it was purple. It was not purple. Red. It was purple. I like purple better. I. I mean, I find that the red is such an eyesore, and then so many women wear red dresses, and it's like they're bleeding mm. into the dress, into, into, <laughs> into the, the, in the carpet. carpet. So I like the purple carpet. There, mm. It was a very well done event. It was beautiful inside, because it's a hockey arena. It's a save on something mm. arena, and mm -hmm. but inside it was really, really well done. I mean, pure pro all the way. And David Foster enormous talent and he's yes. a local boy and he comes home and yes. picks the pockets why not he was picking the pockets I think that over four million dollars was raised that night mm. and he brought in all his celebrity friends Josh Groban Ruben Studdard Pamela Anderson made a quick appearance Buble. Buble was there the day before for mm. another event but he couldn't make Saturday night okay yeah so lots of stars and lots of fun and good food and mm -hmm. there is money in Victoria I in learned case this. no one knows that. I learned this. I didn't know it, but there mm -hmm. is, yes. And no Justin Bieber. No Justin Bieber. He's, you know, too busy fighting paparazzi. What's that about, or do you know yet? Well, I do know, in, I mean, everybody knows, because it went down in front of a million cameras. So he was with his girlfriend, Selena Gomez, the other day in Los Angeles. The paps surrounded him. Um, I, I think they maybe had maybe were blocking his vehicle. He got upset, lost his cool. A scuffle ensued. He lost his shoe. I mean, it must have been quite. Un, I mean, these kids they wear all their clothes loose these days. These days, but I mean, <laughs> right. like his shoe fell off. Right. Let's hope it was a loafer or <laughs> so something I like wonder, that. I wonder though whether or not we're we're beginning to see some cracks mm. in the Bieber armor. Uh, for two years, he's basically owned the world. I mean, he's sure. been the big, big, big draw and. You know, but he's only 18, we have to remember, and kids, mm -hmm. I mean, he's a kid, and he's been, there's just been this veneer of perfection over him, and I, you know, we all see them crack. Exactly, and um, all that fame for somebody 40 yeah. is difficult to deal with exactly. when you're 18. That's right, and you've been famous since you were mm -hmm. 15, so mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I wonder if we're seeing some cracks sure. in, in the Bieber facade. And you go from Stratford, Ontario. Right. To Los to Angeles. To Los Angeles and, and Hollywood. I don't know if you read the profile in, I think it was GQ on him, very, very recently, when a, you know, a journalist was sent to see if the boy can be a man. And, you know, he spent the whole time waiting for this kid, two days after rescheduling, and then the interview happened, and there wasn't really much substance to the interview, and then at the end of the interview, this tricked-out Mercedes van pulls up. He had special ordered it. 
-hmm. It was, you know, somewhere between 500 and a million dollars to sort of trick this thing out. And, you know, he had customized it with his own person. And I mean, you, this is the life of an 18 year old. He's in seclusion all the time. He works maybe half mm -hmm. an hour a day. It's, it's a strange mm -hmm. life, and you're bound to get some behavioral oddities as a result of it. Of course. And will he have a Sinatra like career? Who knows? He could be uh, a two year, three year, five year flash He's in the pan. He's trying not to be. They're trying to remodel his image from, you know, pipsqueak to sort of mm. man, romantic. You know, dude. Justin I, Bieber, I, I a wonder, sex symbol. I wonder. If well, they can I guess make that if you're transition. 18. <laughs> you know, they said the same thing about Justin Timberlake, if you remember, with those little mm. curls and NSYNC, mm -hmm. and he's certainly evolved. Yes, so to speak. And speaking <laughs> of younger, Tom Cruise. Yes, looks good. Looks I know, good, right? He insists, he told Playboy that he hasn't had any work done and that he would never consider it. But I mean, he's turning 50 in, I think, three week, a month or so. And uh, I mean, wow, right? Wow. There are people, like his ex-wife wishes that that's, uh, that she, she wouldn't have to do or, or she was taking the work better than, than she. Than, uh, you mean Nicole? That I mean Nicole. Yeah, I mean Nicole Kidman, who is, I, I feel like She Nicole, looks more Botoxed, aren't she, we, Caddy? But she, she does. She does, is, is definitely. I mean, less lately, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think she's chilled out on it a little bit, but it's no secret people have been talking about it for five years now, How what the difference in her face is. Yeah, but she did land that Keith Urban. Yeah, to each yeah. their own. To Funny each their couple, own. odd couple, well, really. You know what, I, I think that they're quite committed to being this mm -hmm. you know, strong unit. Um, I think they're doing well. I, I, they were in Cannes. She had two films there that okay. she was promoting. Um, and then this one film called The Paperboy, it's making lots of headlines because she's sort of the older woman to Zac, woman to Zac Efron. And in one scene, she pees on him. Um, I'm sorry to offend people, but it's in the movie. And Shades it's, of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that it's because there's a, like a jellyfish sting situation happened. Anyway, mm -hmm. Nicole Kidman, they say that it's her best role since To Die For, which involves her urinating on the young Zac Efron. Well, yeah. who knew? Yeah. Is she Go on your it. is she on your good list on that site, or is she on the fraud list? I can't remember. She she's she's mostly on the fraud list, but I can't deny that she's a wonderful actor, mm -hmm. and I just hope she goes back to not messing around with her her business anymore right. and, and really just okay. acting. And Cruz is playing uh, uh, in Rock of Ages. Is he like a yeah. badass rock star? Is that the idea? Well, he's, yeah. I mean, he's the, you know, you've seen the, you see the picture, the eyeliner, the tattoos, no shirt. Um, and he, you know, sings and dances in the film. He plays Stacy Jacks, for those of you who know Rock of Ages. So he's, you know, mm -hmm. your stereotypical 80s rock guy, groupies, strange behavior, rock and roll excess. Right. Speaking of real rockers, did you see Jagger hosting Saturday Night Live? I thought he was great. Me too. I thought he was one of the best hosts this season. Me too. He was too. funny, his timing was good, mm -hmm. he was willing to get silly. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he, he did a great act. job. And he can act. Yes. Yeah, he can I guess act. he's been entertaining for oh so long. Well, but some of them just freeze and have no personality. I mean, you mm -hmm. can tell why he's the lead singer of, the, you know, arguably one of the biggest rock bands of all mm -hmm. time. It's because he has a charisma that is, you can't, you can't, he can't turn it off. Yeah, that I, I can't get satisfaction line is yes. iconic. Uh, YouTube it if you if anybody hasn't seen it. He was hilarious. For sure. I thought he did a great mm -hmm. job. Okay, uh, Travolta. Yes. Well, we talk about we've talked maybe about him Gaby. before. Yes. It's it, isn't that what you say? I call it maybe Gaby. Yes. Maybe Gaby. That's my you know silly term. But you know there have been rumors dogging him for years and mm. years. We've addressed this on my previous yes. visits, and it's kind of exploded with these allegations from. Masseurs who claim that when he goes in for a relaxation massage, he wants a little bit extra. Um, and so, you know, they're all, I think it's, we're up to seven people who've made the same, these accusations. Okay. He's denied them all. Um, some of these are bogus in the sense of, yes, these are clearly people just out to sort of make a quick dollar. But I can tell you from personal experience, not me, I'm not a male masseur, but from associates of mine and personal friends, there have been incidents um, that I've heard of where he does go in for a massage and has some a, a special request I for see. a happy ending. And many people do, but the important point is a male masseuse 
man yes. getting the massage. So who well, knows? No, the well, it hurt thing his, is that he's uh, reputation, married and he has children and he has always insisted mm -hmm. that he is as heterosexual as they come. You know, there's no problem if you want to go hit up a massage parlor for something special. Right. Um, but the problem, as we go back to that word fraud, is that he's built his career on this image and it obviously is not this image that's right. on the cover well, of the National Enquirer right now. Well, hard to be the king of disco, but right. we don't know for sure. And I asked Stedman well, I when he was here. <laughs> you do. I, I asked Stedman, uh, Oprah Stedman, right. when he was here, and he wouldn't tell me anything because I know they're such uh, close friends. Well, here's what's interesting is that, uh, you know, in my travels, people talk and there are certain, you know, mm -hmm. uh, accepted truths. And, but then you have Oprah Winfrey, who's very close to the Travoltas, who's had him on her show how many times, and she helps perpetuate this image that he's created with Kelly Preston, that they have happy marriage. And so you wonder how many other people are invested in this image that mm -hmm. John Travolta has taken pains to right. create. But I wonder in this day and age with same-sex... Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly, yeah. allegedly. Yeah. Uh, we'll be off the air sooner than we thought. <laughs> uh, but in this day and age when same-sex marriage is in and when Cynthia Nixon from Sex and the City yeah. gets married yeah. uh, and it's okay, mm -hmm. I wonder if she was doing Sex and the City if she would have gotten married. Y Who yeah. knows? But it seems silly. It's I just, okay. I think so too. You think so too. I. But uh, there is a significant demographic in America, where you see it on the news every night, that mm. is 100% not accepting of that kind of um, right. sexual preference. It's a tough sell in or orientation, America. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it's a tough sell. I mean, you have a Republican Party that is still fighting birth control, for God's sake. So, yeah. obviously, you know, he has his reasons. Of course he does. And then to say, all these years, I've told you I was, like, so hetero, and now I have a small confession. It is difficult. Allegedly. Like, Lise Liberace yes. was dead. Right. Mm -hmm. So, J-Lo, uh, Idol, what's happening? Leaving Idol? Well, she's hinting at the fact that she's so busy. I mean, she's got her own clothing line, fragrances. She's going on tour this summer. Um, her career has never been hotter. She's hinting at, you know, the fact that Idol is such a commitment mm -hmm. that it's something that she might not want to do anymore. But, I mean, I don't know if it's so much she doesn't want to do it or if it's a little bit of gamesmanship happening. Because she was paid $12 million dollars to do one season, each for each season of Idol. Well, and that's what I make here. <laughs> yeah, well, no wonder you're ready to. <laughs> no wonder I'm ready to <laughs> be a goner. Uh -huh. um, but Britney Spears just signed to the uh, X Factor for 15. And so, you know, J-Lo is J-Lo, and right. there might be a little bit of sword play happening in the sense oh, of, I be. want you to match my or else. And can Brittany emotionally do this? When we come back, uh, yes. I know you'll have no. the answer. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, she already told you the answer, but we'll come back and she'll say no more loudly. Louder.